Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to another Crock-Pot video. I have got three super easy and delicious Crock-Pot recipes to share with you guys. These are ones that we had this past week. Let's go ahead and get started. First up is taco soup. This is a super easy one. It is perfect dump and go dinner. I just have a can of Rotel there, a can of chili beans, and then I'm going to add in a can of drained corn and a can of black beans that I have rinsed and drained. And then I'm going to add in a pack of dry ranch and a pack of taco seasoning. And then I'm going to add in some water because I like to do the beef bouillon. So if you don't keep the beef bouillon on hand, then just do beef broth in replace of the water and the powder or the cubes. And then I have a bunch of taco meat that I had froze in the freezer and I just pulled it out and dumped it in frozen. It is totally fine if you do it frozen. It's fully cooked. It's just going to thaw and heat and cook through you know heat through as it all cooks together in the slow cooker but this is like the perfect way to be able to do a dump and go meal is if you keep extra like cooked proteins like that in your freezer then you can dump and go and have a delicious dinner in no time i just gave everything a good stir and set it on low for about six to eight hours here it is when it is all ready to serve so delicious it was cold and rainy this day, so it was the perfect day for soup. We just like to serve ours with some sour cream, some shredded cheese, and some crushed up chips on top. Here is my bowl. Super delicious. Highly recommend. We're going to do some French onion burgers. Y'all, these are our all-time favorite. I have just seared off my patties here um, the reason why I sear them is because it locks in the flavor when you season them and it also renders off a lot of the fat so that way you don't have to worry about fat in your crock pot there still will be some but this is all what got rendered off so you don't have to worry about that we are going to add in a little bit of this French onion soup to kind of coat the bottom a little bit and then we're going to add in our burger patties you just want to sear them on both sides for a couple minutes give them a little bit of color and just lock in that flavor cover them. I'll move them around as they cook. They'll um, kind of shrink up a little bit because there is still some fat in them. So I'll move them around as they cook. And then you just top it with a whole sliced onion. That's it. Like so easy. Put it on low for about six six to eight hours and these are delicious we serve ours on butter toasted buns I feel like for this recipe you definitely need toasted buns because with all the juice and from the French onion soup mix the burgers are really juicy and delicious so it kind of helps the buns not get soggy and it is just so good 
we just served it with some provolone cheese mayonnaise or miracle whip and then we served it along with fries for this night here is what it looks like y'all i'm telling you <laughs> this is one of our favorites definitely definitely need to try it if you have not tried this recipe yet last but definitely not least is pesto chicken this is definitely one of our favorites we haven't had it in a while so we decided to make it we had everything here for it all you need is five or six boneless skinless chicken thighs and a jar of pesto that is it two ingredients and it is so delicious y'all so i'm just going to add the chicken into the bottom of my slow cooker i'm going to add on the whole jar of pesto kind of smooth it around on top of the chicken put the lid on it and let it cook for three to four hours y'all already know how much i talk about cooking chicken thighs in the crock pot it literally takes no time to cook at all i absolutely love chicken thighs in the crock pot Here is what it looks like when it is all done. It is so delicious. I just set it on warm while I'm cooking up my pasta and making my sides. So for this night, I decided to make like homemade cheese sticks. So I had this Pillsbury pizza crust in the fridge. So I pulled it out, I rolled it out on a greased baking pan and I had some Papa John's garlic butter. I don't know about you guys, but I save those if we don't use them like when we're actually having pizza. I save those and put those in my fridge and they are perfect for pizza um, or like breadsticks like this. So I take and just brushed two of those on top of the pizza crust and then I loaded it up with cheese and then I sprinkled it with some Italian seasoning, baked that in the oven at 375 for about 10 to 12 minutes and y'all they were so good like so good <laughs> like almost restaurant worthy good And here they are out of the oven. I just sliced them just like you would get them at a pizza place. I'm telling y'all, these were the bomb.com. Definitely need to try them. We like to serve our pesto chicken over Parmesan noodles. I have a bag of the frozen cheese tortellini there. I'm just cooking those up according to package directions. And then we will drain them and add in some butter and Parmesan cheese. Now that they are all done, I just drained them and then we are going to add in a couple tablespoons of butter. Just mix that together until it melts and coats the pasta. And then we are going to sprinkle on a good amount of Parmesan cheese and that's it. Super easy and these are delicious. You, If you don't like um, the cheese noodles, you could serve this over rice or just have it as is with veggies. Here is everything. We have our Parmesan noodles our delicious cheese sticks and the pesto chicken. And that is it y'all that wraps up this week's crock pot video. I really hope you enjoyed these super easy and delicious slow cooker recipes. These are definitely some family favorites around here. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.